How you doing everyone? It's Joe from Living to Learn, uh, out again on another dander. Thought I'd, I'd bring this along with me today because I'm just trying my hand at doing a few uh, more crafty things, inspired by Colum and some of the great crafters on the community. I have used propped against the tree here, so you're kind of sitting at a stump because it's a very windy day. I'm trying to shoot between the gusts, but we'll try and make it work. Earlier on in the week, I posted a slide type voice or stop. And uh, it's, a, it's a very handy way to sit on a stump and, and carve a bit of wood. But Jamie Burlay jumped into the comments and being a reductionist like myself was <laughs> rightly pointed out that at the end of the day what it is is just a 90 degree stop cut. And that if you find yourself a nice tall stump you can put that 90 degree stop cut or if you fell a tree for firewood or whatever you can put that 90 degree stop cut into the top of the stump and use it like that. So I'll show you really quickly. I'll bring you with me. There you go. And it's a nice height, about chest height, for me to work on. It's my 90 degree thing, took all of two seconds. And then I took it a step further. I try not to waste stuff when I'm out in the woods, and I'll, I'll be using this in a second, you can see. But I used a piece of the stump to make a very quick bodger's bib with my uh, mini tea auger. So what actually has me up in the woods today is um, I am practicing stop cuts. Uh, stop cuts are a very handy thing or when you want to remove large pieces of material very quickly say for spoons or to make a quick spindle for your bow drill or uh, dowels or square pegs um, anything at all stop cuts I've found are a really great way to save calories and speed up what you're doing to make a round one uh, so if you are looking for a round interior piece and you want to remove a large section you simply just saw all the way around the length of the, the material you want I plan on carving a Dalarna horse today when I got home so I'm looking for a square piece so to do a square piece you just saw halfway in halfway in and leave yourself your gaps here today I'm going to be using my number 10 forest mallet <laughs> this is this is a cool trick showed uh, by Lonnie from Fire and Art Bushcraft it's a great channel uh, Lonnie's a, a really relaxing guy to watch but he rightly pointed out that a tree that had fallen over within the first kind of 10 feet of that tree you got a whole workshop full of mallets if you can find the right tree different weight mallets and stuff like that so I decided to try it today it's just delimbed that was a good one you got yourself a nice one I call it my number 10 forest mallet I leave it up here so I'll show you really quickly I'm going to jump over to the stump and uh, I'll start with the round one and we see where it goes hats off to anybody who crafts on video it's a uh, it's not as easy as it looks So you can see here really quickly what the stop cut has allowed me to do is literally baton off a huge section of that and it will not go any further past that stop. Very, very handy. I'll do another piece uh, really quickly. See if I've hawked off a bit of material there, I would need some more finer batoning and stuff like that. But I'm going to just use my bodger's bib really quickly just to demonstrate um, the technique used for that. Remove Lahata. Oh, I didn't cop that. Sorry. 
I leave string hanging out of my haversack just because I'm able to pull it and cut when I'm on the fly and just keep drawing it out. It acts as a, acts as a, a string dispenser. So we have it here, my wee little bodger's bib made from the bit left over from the stump. It allows you to get it nice and up onto your chest. And you can just do your fine carvings back like that. And if you should over travel, you're going to hit the piece of wood. So we can shape the top of this really quickly. And you can see the effect of the bodger's bib there. Very handy piece of kit and takes a takes no time at all to make. But then if you want to go back and use your stop to carve off huger chunks of material, your stop cut will still save you there. So like in my uh, table voice or table stop, you can just jam it in. You can hawk off your large pieces of oh, your large pieces of timber. Browning out. There you go, just a couple of really quick ways <laughs> to do a bit of a bit of stump craft. I'm gonna tip on and, and work on my Dalarna horse and make myself a make myself a coffee, but you can see when you got your kind of reductionist forest eyes on, you can find a full set of hammers really quickly. You got your stump craft, nice table to work on again. Shout out to Jamie, thanks very much for the tip. You got yourself a nice table to work on and even a piece left over for a bit of a bodger's bib. I hope you guys are enjoying whatever journey you're on in the forest. It's uh, Joe from Living to Learn. Out.